Hi everyone, it's me. Welcome to my makeshift cooking channel. I'm kind of torn between titles right now. I'm thinking either I can't make that or this is going to end terribly. Essentially, my boyfriend needs to bring homemade baked goods of any variety back into work. I said, yeah, I can do that. Um, that was a lie. Anyone who knows me personally knows that I can't cook and I can't bake. And yet here we are. I was too lazy to read recipes, so I actually YouTubed simple um, baked goods things. And I watched this 30 second video and I said, you know what, I can do that. So here we are and I'm going to make triple decker brownies. The recipe boasts that you only need three ingredients. Um, so how hard can it be? Um, let's just get this over with. So, um, all right, what, what do I start with first? Okay, now that I sufficiently look bald, um, basically what we're looking at is triple decker brownies, so a layer of cookie dough, a layer of Oreos, and then brownie mix on top. So naturally, we're all gonna die of heart attacks. I guess where I'm gonna start is the brownie mix, of which I'm not gonna make by hand. We've got a chocolate fudge brownie mix from good old Betty Crocker. There was another one um, by Paul Hollywood, the guy who does Great, great British Bake Off, blah, 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 that guy. And um, it looked pretty good, but his brownie mix means you had three eggs and butter and water. And ain't nobody got time for that. That was a really stupid reference, I'm so sorry. Instead, we're gonna use Betty Crocker's. You only add an egg, oil, and water. That's easy, right? Well, I've just realized I don't own a measuring cup and I don't own any of the tablespoon, teaspoon, little thingies. So we're gonna have to just kinda make it up as we go along. <laughs> oh my god. First I need a bowl that I, I, the only thing I didn't bring with me was a bowl. Let's get a bowl. I got a bowl. I was kinda thinking if this actually works out, it might be fun to do a video like this, like once a month and make like a British baked good type thing, but I think I'm getting ahead of myself. Can you even see? I can't see quite well. Oh, I don't do drugs, but can you imagine if you inhaled just the powder? That smells so good. All right, we want the egg. Oh. Lovely jubbly. Got paper towels because I know who I am as a person and this is gonna end up messy at some point. All right, we got my egg. Um, we're supposed to have 75 milliliters of water. I don't know how much that is, but that kind of looks about right. So there we go. And then we want 40 milli milliliters of vegetable oil. Uh, we're just gonna guess. That looks about right. This is a disaster and I can feel it in my bones. So how are you doing? Tell me about yourself. What brings you, what brings you to my uh, makeshift kitchen? I could never have a baking show. Already I'm getting bored of this. And I don't even get to eat it. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna make it enough. So if you have any British baked goods that you think I should try, leave a comment and maybe like, I don't know, a recipe. I really wanted to do Bakewell tarts because I'm in love with those things now, but those seem like really intermediate, like expert type baking. And as you can probably guess, I, my baking skill is more of like a child's level, like maybe like a seven year old. Oh my God, that's really thick. I also don't own any like specific mixing bowls. This is my um, popcorn bowl. 
because if anything, I can make popcorn. Oh my God. What if I just ate it? <laughs> Sorry, um, the triple decker brownies didn't work out because I ate all the ingredients. <laughs> my arm's getting tired, that's fine. We're happy with that. All right, that can go away. Okay, so we put the brownie stuff aside and I've got my dish, which we need to butter. I'm gonna go ahead and stick my hands in it. I don't want you guys to see, cause that's really gross. Just pretend that I'm doing this in a really clean fashion. I found, you know how you get that spray, like the butter spray or whatever for, for things? I found one of those in the cupboard, but it expired a year ago. So. That's good, right? Lovely. Not getting up, so we're just gonna do this instead. I'll wash my hands later. Okay, so from what I can remember, the video of which I only watched about twice, um, you start off with a layer of cookie dough. So I tried to find like a tub of malleable cookie dough, which I couldn't at Asda. I mean, I wasn't looking that hard, but the best thing I could find are these Just Roll chocolate chip cookie dough things. I mean, this is all I can find and this is what we're gonna use. Beautiful. So naturally you would just break them apart to make your cookies, um, but we're gonna use it like a base. Okay. Maybe, oh Christ. Maybe I, I use this one as a main one and I use this secondary one to like fill in the gaps. Let's do that. Oh my god, this is almost perfectly lining up. <laughs> oh my god, that's... Something has worked out for once. Look at that. Look at that, it fills the bottom. I mean, it's a lot thicker than I wanted it to be. Um, I don't have a rolling pin, so... I do have a fist. The picture, or the video, showed like a really thin layer at the bottom. Um, which we obviously don't have. If anyone from my boyfriend's work is watching this who are gonna eat these, my hands are basically clean. All right, it's a little bit more. Oh, we're gonna take this bit out. Oh, that's the good stuff. Maybe just a little bit more. Wonderful, that's gotta be good enough. So once your cookie dough has filled the bottom of your pan, I still think mine's too thick, but whatever. First step is to stop eating it. Stop massaging it. I don't need to keep doing this. It's really therapeutic. It smells so good. All right, let's stop. We're gonna stop that now. Next step is to make a layer of Oreos. So what's kind of neat in England and the UK potentially, they come in these tubes. I don't know if Canada does this yet. I mean, it's nice because it really breaks down the amount of packaging. Because if you picture like Oreos back in Canada come in these big square rectangly packages that you kind of like slide open. You can, you can reseal it really easy, which is nice, but there's so much packaging. So instead, they come in these tubes. And I bought two because I'm not good with perimeter area type math equations. Maybe just a bit more. Next step is just to cover the top of the cookie dough with your Oreos. That's good enough. Pretty. Let me just tell you, it smells like the most beautiful thing I've ever smelled in my life. So the final step is to add our brownie mix to the top and basically just cover everything. Cover your whole life in brownie mix. So my Oreos aren't really sticking to the cookie dough. <laughs> that might be a thing that you need to overcome. Just hold them down while you smother them. 
What are some other major British treats? I mean, I'm very partial to an apple crumble, let me tell you. But I don't really like hot custard. A lot of stuff here, they give you like hot, warm custard to like dunk it or pour it on and stuff. And I'm not really, I don't know. Stay down. Maybe my water and oil calculations were not very good because this is so thick. It's so hard to spread it without breaking all the Oreos, but whatever. Sticky toffee pudding also seems to be really popular. I see that a lot. And why is it that you call like desserts puddings, even if they're not necessarily puddings? Like, is there logic behind that or is it just the way it is? So for future reference, really stick those Oreos down because once you put the batter on top and start moving them around, they all lift up and come with it. Stop moving, I swear to God. Get back down. Maybe like Christmas time, I can make some sort of British dessert. A British pudding that's not really a pudding. All right, this is good enough. I just keep messing her. Oh, I can see Oreo. And there you have it. Do I got batter on my face? And there you have it, triple decker brownies. We got our cookie dough, our Oreos, and the, the brownie batter on top. Because I am not good at this, I did not preheat the oven. So I'm gonna preheat the oven, I'm gonna put these bad boys in. I think they're like 45 minutes um, at a temperature that I don't remember. So I'll put those in, I'll go have my shower, and then maybe show you guys at the end what they actually look like. But I don't actually get to eat any of them. So, well, maybe we could just eat one. In case I get lazy later and I don't film what it looks like coming out of the oven, um, because that's a possibility. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you do have a British treat that you think I should try, um, let me know. Otherwise, until next time, bye. Look at me, mom, I did it. I'm not a failure.